Hello class, welcome back to our online discussion in this course, Strategic Management in Tourism and Hospitality. So we are now in Module 8, Strategy Research in the Hospitality and Tourism field. Once again, this is your instructor, Jason Khan. So when we look at the strategy literature in the hospitality and tourism field, we see that the strategy research dates back to the early 1980s. And the focus of these studies was mainly conceptual in nature and concerned with strategic planning rather than the strategic management. So toward the end of the 1980s, empirical work was more evident with the focus being mainly on the environmental scanning and strategy and lastly the structure alignments. So these three pillars was focused on the hospitality and tourism researches. So the international context has attracted a considerable volume of attention although most research in this area has largely been descriptive in nature. So with a more limited amount of activity directed toward theoretical development, a notable early study concerning the international dimension is the research of Dunning and McQueen. So with regards to methodology, it is difficult to generalize, but strategy researchers in the United States okay, have tended toward the survey base research while the European um, researchers have made a greater use of case study oriented approach okay once again the USA um, researches is based or focus more on the survey based research and the Re European Union um, focus on the case study oriented approach. Next, in the recent years, several attempts have been made to review the current level of strategy research in the hospitality and tourism field. So in the tourism field and um, according to at the Yaman in 1995, also by Olsen and Roper 1998, and also the um, Chi and Olsen in 1998, in the hospitality field reviewed that the current strategy literature. However, these studies did not explicitly attempt to group the previous strategy research in the hospitality and tourism field under the different stages or schools of thought Instead, the focus was essentially on the cataloging. So that means the relevant publications. So for example, um, we acknowledge that the strategic research in the tourism field is almost non-existent. So on the other hand, Olsen and Roper again in 1998 and Chi and Olsen 1998 indicated that the most of the previous studies in the hospitality field fall into the strategic analysis um, strategic analysis aspects and there has been a limited in the research about the strategy implementation evaluations again in 1995 and in 1998 in the hospitality field more emphasis on the strategic analysis rather than strategy implementation and evaluation. So referring back to the classifications provided by Hockettson and colleagues, most of the current strategy work in the hospitality and tourism field can perhaps be placed in the early development or under industrial economics area. Again, from the perspective of different strategic management um, school of thoughts, 
um, apart from some exemptions such as uh, Edgar and Nisbet in 1996, also by Okomos in 20, uh, 2004, most of the previous work on the strategy in the hospitality and tourism field can be put under the traditional planning school. Again, most of the previous work on the strategy in the hospitality and tourism field can be put under the traditional planning school. So, for example, after comparing the strategy literature in the generic field and the strategy literature in the hospitality and tourism field, um, Okomos in 2002 claimed that the hospitality and tourism researches tended to follow key strategy research issues and trends almost two decades later than their counterparts in the strategic management field. Okay, so there is a comparison between the strategy literature in the generic field and strategy literature in the hospitality and tourism field. Okay, the generic field and the H and T field. So in summary, the strategic management research in the hospitality and tourism context contains a commendable emphasis on industry application. But not notable theoretical contributions had been uh, made to mainstream strategic management field. So one reason for this is that the strategic management did not appear on most um, hospitality and tourism syllabi until 1980s okay and this is itself would account for the gap in mainstream interest so another reason is that the most of the research during this period was performed by researchers at Virginia Polit um, Polytechnic University or Institute under the direction of Professor Michael Olsen, okay, who has a strong commitment to the what we call co-alignment principle. So the co-alignment principle that is deeply rooted in the planning school. So those who undertake strategy, uh, strategic research in the hospitality and tourism um, industry typically encounter a view of strategy that is very much um, rooted in the classical planning perspective. And also, consequently, they tend to overlook the considerable developments that have taken place in the last 30 years. So this is the short power presentation. And lastly, um, another reason may be that many of the researchers and academics involved in the teaching and researching strategy in the hospitality and tourism field have not uh, had formal training in strategic management, but more on the generalist hospitality management or business administration background. So a lack of exposure to the mainstream and limited number of strategy um, specialists are both likely to be contributing factors. However, the potentials uh, still exist for high quality research of relevance to both the first, the academic community, and the second one is the industrial practitioners. So the potentials still exist for high quality strategy research um, of relevance in these two areas. First, the academic community and the second one, industry practitioners. And finally, limitations of previous research are not unique to the strategic management in the hospitality and tourism organizations. Again, in, uh, according to Olsen in 2001 and Wheeler, both discuss how literature and scholarly activities in the hospitality and tourism field are somewhat limited 
and mainly conceptual. So therefore, similar comments can perhaps be made for the literature um, in other areas. So there are other areas related to literature. That is marketing. The other one, the human resources. We also have operations management. And lastly, the financial management in the hospitality and tourism field, especially in this area, operation management. There are lots of hotels and resorts who have their new position in this field. Instead of using such a word like general manager, they have a breakdown and they separate this um, term operations manager okay so i hope that you have learned something on this um, short video and don't forget to answer the evaluation piece and see you in the next module bye bye